So hello guys, my name is Rishabh Raj and I'm a second year student at Bits Pilani. Okay, so as you guys know, there has not been a major dip in uh, second iteration cutoffs, which was quite well uh, expected, predicted. I guess I knew that it won't drop because that happened last year also. The thing is, many people think that uh, since you have to give the piece before the second iteration so a few people may leave but i don't think that's the case because a lot of everyone wants that they block their seat and wait for the best opportunity and if they don't get that best opportunity then they will leave so that's the general mindset of people and that is why still a lot of people would be in waiting list or uh, the cutoffs have not been dropped as i have heard and as i know that it has been dropped like one or two marks in some uh, uh, branches only other than that, it's uh, same cutoffs. Okay, so that's why there is no point of analysis. But this video is mainly to tell you that when can the cutoffs drop, which I have also covered in my previous video, but this video will be short and would be crisp. Okay, so the thing with this video is that I guess so the most chances of dropping is in the third iteration if the JMN results come out. But after these things, like whatever we have been uh, hearing about the J main scam thing or the thing that has happened uh, some people have been saying that J main result may postpone so i don't know about that i can't comment about that but uh, if the J main results come in the date that has been already announced then there would certainly be a drop in the third iterations because people would get to know what's their final rank what's their final percentile they would understand which NIT can they get which branch they can get and in that way they will decide if they want to come to bits or not so that will be a major parameter and so you have to wait for the JMN result if it happens on the date announced then there would certainly be a drop in the third iteration what drop can you expect I hope it will be if JMN results get declared there will be certainly a drop of four or five months and sure five or six months also is possible so that's the first thing and uh, then the second thing is that but will there be a drop in fourth iteration so i don't think there will be a drop in fourth iteration not a lot like two three marks is very very possible because uh, the refund window will open and uh, these things will open so there will be certainly a drop of two three marks or even four marks if is possible also the major drop is expected in fifth and sixth iterations because all the major exams would get over and uh, uh, even though the result of J advance would not be declared, people get an idea from the answer keys and all that uh, what they can expect and uh, you know they would understand that what they can expect and in that case there will be a drop in 5th and 6th iterations and finally 6th iteration there will be certainly a big drop like 10 marks or even 11 12 marks is possible because uh, people keep on blocking their seats till 5th iterations. They don't want to leave. They just uh, don't have any reason to leave. Why would you leave when you have got a seat and you don't have any other good option? So yeah, they want to secure that and that's the reason why the cutoffs don't drop a lot. So yeah guys, I would tell you that the main thing is patience, patience, patience. Okay, so just keep patience and uh, don't get tense. Uh, you'll get your desired branch because I expect these times the cutoffs have dropped in the first iterations only. What my estimates are, I think I said one thing wrong in my previous video is that I expected that to that there will be a drop of 15 marks from 2020 cutoffs. See, and this 15 marks drop is not for CS of Pilani or Triple E of Pilani. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about dual degree and I'm talking about uh, lower than ENI. Why I'm telling this? Because of the because of the craze of CS first of all and also ECE being introduced in Pilani campus. So other than these two uh, branches, CS and ECE, I expect a drop of 15 marks from the previous cutoffs, 2020 cutoffs in the last round. So for example, last I would end this video now. Uh, if uh, you got X branch at 310 in 2020, I expect that uh, you can get that branch at 295 in this year's sixth round. So again, these are just predictions and these are just to make you happy or just to make you relaxed. So the only thing I would say is that relax, enjoy this phase because once you come to college, again, you have to work hard. I'm telling you right now only. So try to enjoy this phase. Try to just, if you want to do something really, to first of all, you can you should definitely prepare for JE. But if you are thinking that BITS is your only option and you are coming to BITS, so I would say you relax like one, uh, one month and do a bit of coding if you want. Or if you don't want, 
just see the courses that what are the courses if you want and if you don't want you can do you can even do nothing okay you can just enjoy watch some television series i would say you can do that because after coming to college you could if you want a good cgpa if you want a uh, uh like good things you want in your life then again you would have to start studying and all so yeah this is your time you can use it effectively if you want